guys, welcome to Talk Film Reviews. I'm Aslan. And I'm Azwar. And this week we are reviewing Saving Mr. Banks. Yeah. So, uh, what's the movie about? The movie is about how the, mov uh, how the other movie, uh, Mary Poppins, was made and the trials and tribulations of Walt Disney. Yeah, so the movie follows Walt Disney, played by Tom Hanks, who's trying to convince uh, P.L. Travers, the writer played, of, uh, of the yeah. original work, played by Emma Thompson, to make Mary Poppins. Mm. Um, and, you know, when you, look at, when you look at the characters, Walt Disney is a very dynamic, energetic sort of character. And P.L. Travers is the exact opposite. She's a fuddy-duddy and boring, and she's rather not nice. Yeah, so the movie basically follows these two characters in a clash of cultures, a clash of ideologies. A clash of, uh, you know, uh, creators even. Yeah, uh, on the route to making uh, the movie. Check out this trailer for more. Well, Pamela Travers, you can't imagine how excited I am to finally meet you. Would you mind? My name is Mrs. Travers, Mr. Disney. Oh, Walt, now you gotta call me Walt. So I made a promise to my daughters that I would make your Mary Poppins fly off the pages of your books. A promise, though, Pam. Stop! Mary Poppins is not for sale. I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. Says the woman who sent a flying nanny with a talking umbrella to save the children. Uh, so that's a little bit about what the movie's about. Um, so yeah, what did what did you like about it? Uh, what did I like about the movie? Um, I really liked the characters and um, yeah, just the just the characters. Even even the secondary actors that you have in there it was very well cast. I think everyone did their did their jobs <laughs> very well, um, and you know. Uh, mostly, obviously, Tom Hanks and, and Emma Thompson really portrayed um, Disney and Travers um, quite well. Yeah. What, what I liked about it is the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson are always a treat to watch, and I think they're great character actors. But uh, I, I would go so far as to say they're so good at what they do that when they're on screen, everybody else turns to uh, plywood. It's kind of very unbalanced, you know. I, I, I don't think anybody else um, in the movie can catch up to, to their acting skills. And that's great, but it's also a problem when you're trying to make a movie about characters. But, but obviously they focused on the, on the two most important characters. And that being said, I mean, while, while um, the leads are, are a league of their own, but, you know, that doesn't diminish the secondary actors that much. Yeah, well, yeah, well, most of them. But some, I, I, I would agree that a lot of them, um, a lot of a lot of the actors just were fantastic. And, but uh, I don't know. Like, like I said, it's also a weakness. Yeah. Yeah. So um, on top on top of that weakness, what else did you not like about the movie? Well, um, there's not much not to like. I kind of knew what what the movie was about going in. Um, it might be a rude awakening for a lot of people who expected it to be more cartoony, more fun because it's a Disney movie and it's about Mary Poppins, but no, this is, this is a whole lot more serious. Um, and maybe so, there were even some people who was like, oh, save it, it's Saving Mr. Banks, is that what, like Saving Private Ryan? Is this a continuation? No, it's not a continuation. It's not. There's <laughs> nobody getting shot at all in this movie. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think I think um, to build on that in terms of what I didn't like, um, while it was it was a pretty strong movie overall, I felt um, the ending was a bit abrupt, a bit right. A bit yeah, yeah. On. I I feel like um, you know there were so many problems in the movie. Uh, not not that the movie was bad. I meant uh, you know P.L. Yeah, Travers to get over. It yeah, P.L. Travers was putting so many walls to make sure that the movie was never made. All of a sudden. There's just one scene, and that's it. That, that, like, we solved all the problems. Tom Hanks went and talked. We're done. Let's make this movie. He shot at that tank at the end. Of I the know. I just, <laughs> same, like, same he scene, saves, right? He <laughs> saves Private Ryan. Oh, no. very good. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's, that's, yeah, I think yeah. I agree with this I, kind of. The, the, the end, spot. yeah, the, the, how they resolved the, all the issues was a bit questionable. It wasn't that easy in real life, and it, it definitely, um, they definitely didn't fully portray uh, the how P. 
P.L. Travers reacted later to, to the movie. Yeah, let's just say there's a reason there's only one Mary Poppins <laughs> movie. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so that being said, what would you rate this movie? Uh, okay, on a scale of um, three minis being the worst movie ever and four Donald Ducks being the best movie ever, I rate it at two and a half Donald Ducks. You should watch it, but you know, you have to be a certain type of person to enjoy it. Yeah, uh, I would give it a little bit of a higher rating. I'd say about three, 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 Donald, three Ducks? Donald Ducks yeah, and so nice. Minnie Mouse. Wait. You can, in. you can add it. That, you can throw it in. Isn't that as a weighted score? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know how the. I, I like. I, I did. I did like. Uh, like the movie. It was very. Um, I'm a sucker for emotional movies, and this is this is one of it that just tugs at your heartstrings. The whole he, way. he is a big sap. <laughs> <laughs> um, on top of big saps, who else uh, should go watch it? Okay. Uh, so, like, like we said, big saps uh, who enjoy, you know. Yeah, sappy movies, they should watch it. Yeah. But also people who like to watch um, the Discovery Channel and the History Channel on a weekend, on a Saturday more specifically. Yeah. You could be doing anything else, but that's what you like to do. And uh, I think people who have watched Mary Poppins. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it just adds another dimension to the movie that you maybe have not known about before. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent movie. I. I you know, I, I have, don't have a lot negative stuff to say about it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there we go. So, yeah. That, anyways, that's our review of Saving Mr. Banks. Mm -hmm. um, do comment below on what movie we should review next. Uh, I want to watch 300 Rise of an Empire. And I would like to watch um, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, which What's is coming up. That's about a, a genius dog who adopts a kid and they travel through time saving the universe and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. So saving the universe or saving Greece. Those are your choices. Yeah, but this one's got a dog. It's got a dog, guys. Whichever. <laughs> Anyways, do follow us on Facebook. It's www.fb.com right slash talk film mm -hmm. um, subscribe and uh, continue to like our page for our next uh, movie review whatever it may be uh, signing off I am Aslan and I'm Aswar thanks for watching us talk film review